Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Art of Man's Life. My name is Ali. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're keeping well. When you amass a certain number of Lego sets and you've been buying them for such a long time as I have, you tend to amass a large number of minifigures. And if, you, if your household is anything like my household, you have minifigures everywhere. And you can always guarantee when you are looking for that one specific minifigure, you can't find it. You know, you want to put it in the city or, hey, where's that Doctor Strange one? You know, forget it. You can't find it. So what I wanted to try and do is share with you some of the tips uh, that I have uh, for our Lego collection, how we store and manage our minifigures and hope to give you some inspiration um, of how you can somewhat uh, control the storage of your minifigures that you amassed over a period of time. So one great way to gather all your minifigures into one place at a large scale is a product like this. I got this minifigure storage cabinet from a retailer here in the UK, which is a toy retailer called Smith's um, UK. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for all the UK um, viewers that um, I'm sure you may already know about this. So they produced um, this, uh, this uh, storage cabinet for about 35 pounds UK and it's marketed to hold around about 80 minifigures. We've actually stored a hell of a lot more uh, than 80 in here. Um, you can fit around about, I would say about 120, maybe even 140, depending on how you place your minifigures in each of the plates. There are a couple of caveats as with that price point, it's only 35 pounds. The plates that you have for the minifigures to stand on are non-Lego branded, so the clutch power, is questionable on some of the plates itself. Um, so if you're shaking it around, they're gonna fall out of place. The uh, Perspex uh, window kind of here, <coughs> it is made out of Perspex, it's not true acrylic. Um, so in some instances I've heard that it can warp, but mine seems quite fine. It is a little bit of a struggle to neatly pull this out uh, of, of uh, without <laughs> destroying the whole thing but you got a couple of tips what I usually do is lift up the top lift and then lift and slide and that usually uh, works pretty well um, one of the great things here is that it's got some LED strips built in straight away you do need to provide your own batteries um, in there but I think that gives it gives a nice little lighting of the set I've got it freestanding in my collection, but you can wall mount it as well. Um, so for me, this was a great way just to get all my minifigures, try and arrange them in some kind of theme inside. So I've got one massive area that I know that most of my uh, minifigures are being stored um, into. Smiths do also do a smaller version of this. Um, and I'm, my brother has picked that one up actually, and he uses it to store his Speed Champions cars at an angle, and it looks pretty cool. There's no light in that one though, but you could probably do a DIY job on there as well. But um, I really like this. Yes, it's not of Lego quality. Um, you are getting what you're paying for, but for £35 to be able to easily store 120 or so minifigures, even if it's just 80 minifigures, I think it's a great it's a great product and a great buy. Wicked Brick are a company that provides some beautiful, uh, high quality display stands cases for your Lego sets. Uh, they are expensive, but the quality is really does justify that price. Um, they also have um, some stands that are for Pacific sets. So you get a really nice stand that's purpose built for that Pacific set, but also a really nice minifigure stand uh, to store your minifigures along with that set. So it's a great way not to lose, <laughs> kind of, if, unless someone takes it and plays with it. I'm looking at my son here, uh, but at least you can see it, the two belong together. They also have a line specifically 
uh, for products designed to go with IKEA products. And IKEA products are probably the go-to place that a lot of Lego um, hobbyists and fans uh, use that furniture to display their Lego sets. And I got one specifically for the Kallax uh, system of furniture that uh, Le Lego provides uh, for displaying my Lego. And this is great because this is a really cool tiered minifigure stand that fits in perfectly in the Kallax um, shelving unit. This stand holds 80 minifigures. So in a way, it's a great way again a uh, mass way to keep all my minifigures in place. This one specifically for me, I use for all my Marvel uh, minifigures because those are the ones I usually uh, sets that I collect and I play with a lot. So it's a great way for me to keep all my Marvel minifigures uh, in, in, in one place. One caveat though, if you do have the Kallax unit and you have um, the glass uh, shelf and cabinet door fitted into it, this will not fit in What if you've got the glass uh, cabinet door as well it's too uh it's too big for it so this really can only go in into a empty calyx unit they do also provide a covering for the calyx unit uh, so if you want to keep it dust free uh, there is that additional product there but it's just an additional cost um, but nonetheless i think it's great um it's great high quality, multi-tiered minifigure stories that fits in perfectly uh, with uh, my Calyx um, IKEA furniture. Wicked Brick also used to do a product specifically for the Santa head IKEA frame where you had a minifigure insert put into there. Um, I think they've retired that product now so you can't get it from Wicked Brick but I really do like this solution of this idea of utilizing this IKEA frame and putting your minifigures in there. Um, but there is another company on eBay called Brick Frames. Um, I'll leave a link um, and they do some great um, inserts for not only the Santa head frame but also the Reba uh, frame which is kind of a little bit smaller and this and I have a couple of them and um, do check them out because I think they do some really nice uh, prints and designs uh, and various themes uh, for your minifigures because I think a lot of collectors love to display their uh, minifigure collections as a series like you know the collectible series and this one I've got specifically because I love Marvel is all, both the Marvel minifigure series pack that, that came out and I think this is a great idea uh, to store minifigures. So going on to some kind of little cheaper tips and, and products, uh, my son loves to mock build Star Wars sets. So he does a lot of army building and he gets a lot of duplicate sets and a lot of duplicate minifigures. And rather than utilize a standard Lego base plate, which is kind of flexible, um, we got these um, smaller base, um, base plates um, from Amazon. Um, which is a hell of a lot cheaper than the official 16 by 16 bricks uh, plates that you can get from Lego. And they're great, small, compact to be able to keep um, all of his uh, army building uh, minifigures. So he has them all in one place for when he's ready to do a new mock or a new build. Um, and it's really much more sturdier as well. You can get larger versions of this, like a 32 by 32 um, base plate, um, which is a lot more sturdier than the Lego base plate, shall we say, um, which I think provides a great way to uh, keep all your droids, stormtroopers, uh, etc., cetera, um, in one place. Another company that I like to use is called iDisplayIt. Um, they're based in the UK, I believe, uh, but I'm, I'm sure they do ship worldwide. Um, they do have quite a lot of minifigure uh, storage products, especially like individual cases uh, for your, you know, pristine, uh, really high, important, rare minifigures that you may have in your collection. They also do have big cases like the one I showed you from Smith's, but there's a lot more higher price because the quality is, is for sure higher. Um, but they do do something else, which I really like are these kind of um, uh, plates to hold your minifigures as well. And then if you combine that with some acrylic stands, you can easily just pick up from Amazon. It's a really nice way uh, to build your own kind of tiered uh, minifigure uh, stand. I mean, I use this a lot just for um, to show you guys <laughs> when I'm doing a review of a set of the minifigures that come with any set. Uh, but I do like this kind of simple design um, to keep your minifigures in place. Oh, I love acrylic. Having that clear um, base for any kind of display is, is fantastic. Um, do check out their display stands because 
uh, they do do quite a lot of varied heights and, and different angled um, uh, display stands and I use that a lot to display some of my uh, Marvel um, figures and um, ships etc. Um, it's sa same as Wicked Brick, they do the same. The one thing that um, I display it doesn't do in comparison to Wicked Brick is Wicked Brick have this really cool dynamic angled uh, plate for the ship so it looks like a ship is nicely fly, uh, flying towards you at a dynamic angle if i display it, did that then um, it's a far cheaper option to go to uh, in comparison to wicked brick so i hope that's helped you inspire you to help organize your minifigures in, the, in your collection in the comments please let me know your ideas any other products that you know of that'd be awesome so always looking to weigh i mean my old my old fail safe way is just get a box and label it uh, like minifigures <laughs> and i just store them in there complete incomplete sometimes the simplest solution is is the best but until next time take care of yourself peace and love